Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss approximation algorithm for traveling salesman problem. The traveling salesman problem, since it comes under difficult combinatorial problems, it is very difficult to solve the problem exactly. And if you are implementing the dynamic programming technique, branch and bound technique and all, it will be a lengthy procedure, which is very difficult to implement. And here, if you are considering the approximation algorithms like nearest neighbor algorithm, twice around the tree algorithm and all, we will get the approximate solution, almost equal to optimal solution. In this case, already we have discussed the nearest neighbor algorithm in the previous session. Now we will discuss twice around the tree algorithm to solve traveling salesman problem. This twice around the tree algorithm is a simple approximation algorithm with finite performance ratio. And this algorithm exploits the connection between Hamiltonian circuit and spanning tree of the graph. What is Hamiltonian circuit? Already we have discussed. Start with one vertex, visit all other vertices in the given graph exactly only once and return back to the starting vertex. That is nothing but Hamiltonian circuit and the path it forms is nothing but the Hamiltonian path. Spanning tree is nothing but tree should consist of all the vertices and with minimum number of edges. Okay, that is the vertices should be connected but it should not form a cycle. That is nothing but the spanning tree. And minimum spanning tree is nothing but the spanning tree with the minimum cost. Okay. And this twice around the tree algorithm if you are considering in the sense, first step Construct minimum spanning tree of the graph corresponds to the given instance of the traveling salesman problem. So, first step is for the given graph, we have to construct the minimum spanning tree. Next step, start at arbitrary vertex. That is, consider one vertex as the starting vertex and perform a walk around the minimum spanning tree. First, we will form a minimum spanning tree and with that tree, Consider one vertex as the arbitrary vertex that is the starting vertex and perform a walk around the minimum spanning tree and record the vertices. What are all the vertices you are passing by? Okay. Then step three, scan the list of vertices. What are all the vertices we have recorded while performing a walk around the minimum spanning tree? Scan those list of vertices and eliminate the repeated occurrences. Which are all the vertices occurred repeatedly? Eliminate the repeated occurrences except the first starting vertex and the last vertex. Step 4. The vertices remaining on the list will form a Hamiltonian circuit. Okay, which is the output of the algorithm. Very simple procedure. First step, we have to construct the minimum spanning tree. Then from that tree, consider one vertex as the starting vertex and perform a walk around the minimum spanning tree and record the vertices. And then can the list of vertices and if any vertex occurred repeatedly in the sense, eliminate that one. Repeated occurrence you need to eliminate. Okay, that is it has to occur only once. Except the starting vertex and the last vertex. Finally, if you are doing this procedure, then we will get a Hamiltonian circuit, which is the output of the algorithm. Very simple procedure. Okay, so now we will implement this algorithm with example. Solve the following instance of the traveling salesman problem using twice around the tree algorithm. So this is the given graph. Now we will implement the algorithm. So first step is construct the minimum spanning tree for the given graph. So first we have to consider all the vertices in the given graph. Okay. And then here you have to consider in this given graph which is the minimum cost edge. Those edges we have to include. So here in this given graph minimum cost edge is 4. So A to B include 4. So every time when you are including the edge, ensure that it should not form a cycle. Okay. So next minimum cost edge if you are considering in this, this is 6. So B to C 6 you can include. It will not form a cycle. Then minimum cost edge is B to D. It is 8. It does not form any cycle. And here 7. Next minimum cost edge is 7 and then 8. Okay. If you are including this edge, it should not form a cycle. Next minimum cost, if you are considering in this sense, 9. These two edges are 9. If you are including this edge, it will form a cycle. If you are including this edge also, it will form a cycle. So here also, if you are including this edge in this sense, it will form a cycle. So we have to eliminate this one. Okay. A to C. Okay. And then this 12, if you are considering in the sense, if you are including this edge, it will form a cycle. This edge, it will form a cycle. This edge also, it will form a cycle. So, we are not including that edges. And here, we got the minimum spanning tree. What is minimum spanning tree? 
we have to include all the vertices in the given graph and the edges we have to include in increasing order with the 4, 6, 7, 8 we have included. Any edge if you are including in the sense if it forms a cycle eliminate. Don't include that edge. And finally all the vertices should be connected. Okay. So here all the vertices are connected and we have included only minimum cost edge. Okay. And it is not forming a cycle. So this is nothing but minimum spanning tree for this given graph. Next step, step 2, start with the vertex A and perform a walk around the minimum spanning tree. So here if you are considering, so this is the minimum spanning tree. Okay. So start with vertex A and perform a walk around the minimum spanning tree. So here start with the vertex A and visit B. Okay. And then you can visit C and then after C. Again, you are visiting B and then D and then E and then D and then B and then A. Okay, this is actually we have performed a walk around the vertices and record the vertices you have visited in this path. Okay, so starting is A and then we have visited B and then C and then again B. And then D and then E and then D again and then B and finally E. So these are all the vertices we have visited in this path during this walk. Okay. And step 3 what we have to do it in the sense. In this path eliminate repeated occurrence except the first and last. So in this path we have to eliminate the repeated occurrence. So except first and last. First is A. B first time you are visiting again C and then this B already you have visited. So this is a repeated occurrence eliminated and then D and then E and this D is a repeated occurrence B is a repeated occurrence again A and here if you are including the edges A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to A. Okay. We will get the minimum cost tour. So, a to B age you can include, its cost is 4. B to C age you can include, it is 6. C to D, the C to D you have to include, its cost is 12, right? And D to E you can include, this is 7. And then A to E, this is also 12. And if you are including all these things in the sense, you will get the minimum cost tour. So here, this is 4 plus 6 plus 12 plus 7 plus 12. Okay. So, this is nothing but total cost of the tour. So, here you will get it as 41. So, the total cost of the tour is 41 for this given graph. So, this is nothing but traveling salesman problem using twice around the tree algorithm. Here, Twice you have visited, right? All the vertices if you are considering, this is twice around the tree you have visited, okay? So, this is nothing but traveling salesman problem using twice around the tree algorithm. So, if you are considering these steps, it is very simple to implement, right? Compared to the branch and bound technique, or dynamic programming and all, it is very tedious procedure to implement. But this is a very simple procedure and we got the solution here, okay? So, this is nothing but approximation algorithm to solve traveling salesman problem. In the under approximation problem, we have discussed two algorithms, nearest neighbor algorithm and this twice around the tree algorithm. Thank you for watching this video.